right, guys. How are we doing? Um, so this is uh, a Aloha Lore Smash Bait uh, review I'm going to do. And um, so these are going to be based off the different attributes that we put on here. And we're going to be doing uh, one out of six. So six being the highest, one being the lowest. Again, like I'm saying with these lore review videos, this isn't saying a lore is great or a lore is not great or whatever. These are just um, attributes. So, you know, some lures excel in certain attributes um, and some, some don't. And just kind of giving it that. And again, my opinion, um, I could totally, this just be my opinion, but I'm running these lures and looking at them and everything. Um, this is this is how I stat and uh, how I how I stat this lore or rate it. Um, we'll put it that way. Um, so uh, getting started here, the first category that we have up here is the ease to run category. You know that's going to mean like how to make it run correctly. Where do you position on the wave? How do you rig it? Uh, does it does it kind of pull to one side? Um, all the attributes of running the lure correctly fairly easy lure to run okay there's a couple little quirks here and there that you need to know but it's a fairly easy lure run so we're going to give that a four marlin uh, out of six which a pretty um shows that it is a pretty easy lure to run um like i said you do need to know a little bit about running lures with this um i feel like sometimes if you're wanting to run on the short corner and get it out in the clean water you do need to know how to rig a lure to make it kind of run in that direction. Um, if you're putting it on the long corner, um, you know, or the uh, long rigger, um, then it's gonna kind of naturally pull out into that water and it's a very easy lure to run. I mean, honestly, you probably could run it in the wrong part of the wave and it's still going to get bit. It's still gonna produce its action. It's not really gonna spin. But to get it to run the best, I like it right close to the top of the wave, trying to get it as high up in the rigger as I can and as close to disaster as possible. So as close to skipping or doing anything like that as possible, trying to get it right at the verge of disaster. That's how I like to run that lure. I've heard people running them all in all different positions. I've caught heaps of fish on it on the short rigger, long corner, short corner. I've heard of guys in Australia in the super rough and stuff running it on their stinger and catching giant black marlin. So it's a super versatile lure. Um, but for me, I would say it's a corner bait, short corner, long corner. Um, but with that being said, pretty easy lure to run. Moving on to surface action. So on the surface action part, I'm going to give this lure a, uh, five out of six. Okay. So has a lot of surface action. It's not a, it's not a constant, just explosive, like hard cut lure but it does have a lot of surface action, does swim a bit more. Onward to aggression. Aggression's gonna be five, okay? Same thing, it's an aggressive lure. Uh, it's not over the top aggressive because it does have a little bit of swimming and undulation and it does kind of get down there every once in a while, um, which leads us in the next category of an underwater swimming, okay? Um, so. Like I said, this is an aggressive lure, but it's not a constant explosion. It'll get into modes where it will be that way, but it does have some swimming action. It does have a slight plunge in it. It does have a, you know, a good like undulation to it. So in terms of an underwater swimming uh, category, we're gonna give this three out of six stars. Uh, stars, sorry, marlins. <laughs> so we give it three little marlins out of six. Um, and you know, in terms of the underwater swimming things, the only lures that are going to really rack up like the fives and the six and stuff is going to be like a cup face lure or a, a certain bullet or something like that, right? A plunger might be a little bit higher up. So, but with that being said, this lure does have a little downward swimming action. It does get down there um, a little bit. It does kind of swim, come and pop, mole hill, swim a little. So it's, it's, and I think partially that action to it and that swimming action to it is why this lure will just gets piled on and gets picked on in the spread okay this will be a focal point in your spread if you're pulling this lure so be prepared all right and i think that underwater swimming does have something to do with that um so yeah in terms of that it's not it's not a plunger it's not a cup face lure but in terms of a tube lure i've never seen one that does swim quite as good as this and get down there uh in terms of the water column onward to skirting ease okay we're gonna put this at a five okay um 
super easy skirt. The only reason it's not out of six is like some people like to skirt their lures by pulling the skirt over the face of the lure. Um, so you can, it's gonna be tough to do that because it's a bigger lure, but really the only thing that's gonna score a six in terms of skirting ease would be like a bullet, you know, um, or something like really, you know, with a small fit, head shape or something. But super easy lure to skirt, runs good with vinyl, runs good with rubber skirts, runs good with wings on it, uh, runs good with double skirts or a rubber skirt on the top and newels underneath. So pretty easy um, lure to skirt and rig. Um, that's a simple one. Now moving on to rough water category, okay? So a lot of these top active aggressive lures, the one downside is that they can be hard to run in the rough. Well, the smash bait can run in the rough. So we're gonna mark that one out of four, out of six. Um, you're not gonna run this thing in a hurricane, but you're gonna be able to run it in rougher water than most aggressive style corner baits, okay? Like I said, it has a little bit of a swimming action to it. It gets in there, okay? So you're able to be able to run this lure if you want, down, uh, down angle a little bit more, give it a little more angle so it's not being pulled high in the rigger. And in doing so, you're gonna be able to get this thing to swim. You could put it in the trough of the wave a little bit more uh, instead of right on the face of the wave. You can run it a little bit farther back. Like I said, there were guys in Australia that were running this lure on the stinger and they're fishing off the Great Barrier Reef where it's about as rough as it can get for marlin fishing and that thing's staying in the water. So it's definitely can handle the rough. Um, I wouldn't categorize it as a rough water lure, but I think in terms of a tube lure, you'd be hard pressed to find a lure that's can, can hang in the rough like the smash bait does. Like I said, it does have a little bit different action than some tube lures. You know, a lot of tube lures tend to like to just stay right up on the surface and just skitter and push and stay right there where the, the smash bait does have a little bit of swimming action to it, which makes it such a unique lure, makes it such a, you know, target and such a magnet for fish because it does have a kind of own way that it does its, its swimming. Um, and so, you can run this thing in the rough, you know? Guys on the East Coast, you can get a smash bait and you can run it probably most of the time. Um, you could run it as a teaser uh, or, you know, however you're doing your fishing. But, uh, you know, we're not gonna give it a six or uh, a five because that's kind of more of, that's gonna be more of like a hard head style or a cup face lure or something like that, where if you're in like absolute serious weather, uh, you're probably not gonna put the smash out. Um, but can handle, um, and uh, I would uh, keep it there at the uh, at the four mark on that. So that's that. Hope this uh, helped you out there a little bit and gave you a little bit of some attributes on it and where to run it. Um, as you can tell, where the numbers are at, this lure is super versatile in terms of a corner bait. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to run. Has a lot of had a lot of surface action compared with a lot of swimming. Uh, Easy to skirt and can handle the rough. So you can see why the smash bait is one of the more famous marlin lures created and, and, and why most people, when you mention the smash bait, they'll come right back with, oh yeah, I caught this fish on that. You know what I mean? There's always a story when someone starts talking about the smash bait. Um, it's pretty rare that you'll hear someone be like, ah, I can never get bit on it. So check them out. Awesome lure, awesome lure maker. Um, Aloha lure smash bait. All right.